For the What's Going On segment, we talked to Queen's Musical Theatre. Uh, if you were lucky enough to see the production of Jekyll and Hyde, it closed today. It was pretty good. Yeah, but don't worry because we have a spotlight of it right now, so you guys won't miss it. Um, basically, the show went up in the Grand. Uh, some of us our age might not have ever seen a Queen's Musical Theatre show in the Grand because of the renovations. They've been doing stuff in the Rotunda Theatre and Grant Hall. Um, but they're in the Grand uh, now. And something, it's really expensive. It's really yeah. expensive to be in the Grand. Um, interesting fact about the theatre, though, is they had one big tree from the rainforest cut down, and that one tree did all the wood in the entire theatre. So Ooh. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. So Exotic. Let's see uh, the show, how it shaped out. Hey folks, Heather Christie here. Now, the old wives and all their tales always talk about how there's sort of a light side and a dark side duking it out inside every human being. But who knew there was an actual musical written about it? Well, Alain Richet and the folks at QMT sure did. So that's why we're here with an exclusive sneak peek of the musical Jekyll and Hyde that's going on at the Grand Theatre from Tuesday until Sunday. Good is evil. Hey folks, we're here with Evangelia Canvitas. Evangelia, thanks so much for chatting with us. It's my pleasure. Now, what's your role in Jekyll and Hyde? Um, well, I don't know if you can see my whole costume, but I do play the Madam of the Brothel. My name is Nellie. Um, so in conjunction with uh, Spider, who is my pimp, we run the brothel together and uh, we kind of make sure that all of our prostitutes are doing what they need to do and taking care of all the good men that come and give us the money that we need to live on. It's a very important job. <laughs> it really is. Now, what is it about Jekyll and Hyde that makes it such like an amazing musical. Jekyll and Hyde is really interesting because I feel like it combines so many different kinds of music within it. Um, you have some classical components in it, there's rock, there's pop, so it just is very versatile. Everybody can kind of dip into any kind of genre, experiment, try different things, maybe, I mean I never knew I could belt and now I can belt. So it's, it's just been a really big learning experience and I feel like the musical enables that in so many ways. We're here with John Bell who plays Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in the musical of the same name. John, thanks for chatting with us. Now, um, give us a scoop. Uh, how much time have you put into this production? Right, um, how much time? Lots and lots and lots of time. Um, this week, um, I think I have about 40 hours of work um, to do just for Jekyll and Hyde. Um, and that's, that's more than 35 hours of simply rehearsals. Um, and the other stuff is just preparing around that um, and getting here early and stuff like that. Um, during the term, it was, um, I think I counted 23 hours a number of weeks um, consistently um, was spent just on Jekyll and Hyde. So do you want to be in this for the big time? Um, I would love to. Um, I'm currently trying to figure out what else I would do on the side, um, uh, but yes is the answer. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wonderful. Hey folks, we're here with the man of the hour, Alain Richet, the director of Jekyll and Hyde. Alain, thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank you. So Jekyll and Hyde, um, what makes it such a f phenomenal musical? Um, I guess something that really hit me, for the musical anyways, was the music of it. It's very powerful, um, even I, I guess hauntingly powerful music and there's different styles and it's just you know you can just sit there eyes closed listen to it and it's still phenomenal uh, so that was kind of like my initial introduction to I've got to work on this show and then looking into it more and finding out all the tweaks that I can do to it working with a student production and uh, all the energy that QMT and students typically bring to a production was just really exciting so there you have it folks Jekyll and Hyde if you didn't get the chance to see it, there you have a couple of sneak peeks, some of the highlights of the QMT show. For Queen's TV, I'm Heather Christie. Have a great one. What's